Here you go. Here you go, my friend. All right, let's see who goes first. Die roll. Hey! If you follow this channel, to it is not surprising that he gets it first. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on, okay, okay. Just likes shuffling, just likes cutting. All right, this is the sideboard. Why don't you sit over here? Think about what you've done. All right, here we go. So I take it you'll be on the play, of course. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is a hand. We'll try it. Okay. Here we go. Take two damage. Steer. Right off the bat. <laughs> right off the bat. Alright. I will play a Dryad Arbor and pass the turn. While you're doing that, may I take my turn? Yeah. I mean, I know your deck isn't going to respond, so... Sure is. <laughs> I mean... Let's see. We're going to cast... Uh, play a forest. Cast a... We're going to say a Findhorn Elves. And then after that, I'll pass the turn. So good old Elvish Mystic. Good old Lenor Elves making an appearance again. And I will untap for you. Are we? Yeah, that's on camera. That's good. All right. Little adjustments to be made. Hey. Whoa, buddy. Okay. Centering. We're good at it. All right. I guess for right now, you should sure. Yeah. So I'm doing my best impression of a mono green stompy deck. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, Ancient Tomb into... Oh, yeah. Pay one mana for Mox Opal. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair, I suppose. Okay. Gta. Yikes. Go ahead. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast like Sanic. This is about to get out of hand. Alright. We are going to pay two for a mana vault. Mm -hmm. Misty Rainforest. I will pass the turn. The side of my deck, I want to see. I don't know if we'll get there. Uh oh, uh oh. Sword of Feast and Famine. Go ahead. At the end of turn, I will crack my fetch lands. Mm -hmm. I'll go down to 19 and get a Hallowed Fountain. Somewhere. Hey, there we go. Hallowed Fountain making an appearance. Alright. Breeding pool? Mm -hmm. Untapped. Untapped. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you kindly. Alright. How's about we... One, two... Hmm... Three, four, five... Do you know what opposition does? Uh -oh. Okay, so I may tap an untapped creature I control to tap target artifact creature or land. Alright. Well and good, I hope. And... I'll pass the turn on your upkeep. I'm gonna tap down your ancient tomb. Mm -hmm. All right, pass turn. That's on screen. Okay, cool. Hmm. Okay. Sword of Feast and Famine? Mm hmm Very good. Yeah, this okay. is the uh, discard and untap. Okay, so beginning of combat. You're going to use opposition to tap down your hangerback walker. Go ahead. Alright. Take one. Ahem. There we go. Let's see. I like all of my choices. How about we... Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Vincer, Shaper, Savant. I would like for Vincer to uh, bounce your Hangerback Walker to hand. And then I will pass turn on the beginning of your upkeep. I will tap down your Hangerback Walker with opposition. Oh, okay. not, not hanger back. Your, your ancient tomb, I was getting ahead of myself. Ancient tomb for hanger back walker is the thought process there. Yeah. So now we can't, barring another land, we can't play hanger back because of good old sphere of resistance. Opposition. Bant Opposition is what I turned into here. Opposition OP. And there it is. Alright. Strip mine or hanger back for one? That'll... Arc bound. Okay. That is a thing. Go ahead. Alright. Take one. That's a card. That's what I wanted to see. Well... Okay. Captain Sisse would like to join the fray. I trust you remember what she does. Mm -hmm. Alright. Hmm. I will pass turn, stop you on upkeep. We're going to use Vincer and tap down Arcbound Ravager. And we're going to use Captain Sisse to make you tap down your Ancient Tomb. Alright, now you may go to draw. Opposition. 
more like oppression. It is, it is not a fun card to play against. Steel Overseer. Yeah, that's a card. Go ahead. I like the little war that we're having here. Tapping down permanence. Um, hmm. Captain Sisse will... This is still an upkeep. Tap. Let me go get a legendary. A legend, I should say. Legendary. Go get a legendary. I will get one of you. There are two choices I'm debating right now. These are the two. I think it's probably better just to go with the simple one, frankly. No, that that's actually, that's a trap. That's a trap. That's a trap. That is a card, and that would just shrek me if I tried it. Okay, we're gonna go get Rafik of the Mini. The uh, four mana, three, three, exalted, and when a creature I control attacks alone, gains double strike until end of turn. Yeah, it, it feels like a mythic. Now I will go to my draw. Alright. Oh, <laughs> that's also a card I could get, I suppose. That is also a card. Well, I don't know if that changes anything, but that would be pretty sick. Alright. I will cast Rafik of the Mini. Alright. No one saw that coming. And then I will, uh, I would like to go to combat. <laughs> Vincer gains an Exalted trigger and a Rafik trigger, and would like to hit you for six. Mm -hmm. All right. Blip, 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 blip. There we go. Um, pass turn on your upkeep, we're going to tap down the... Let's see. Hmm. Let's see, with that many permanents in play... Oh dear. We're actually going to wait. Alright, you may draw. Yes. Alright. Crucible. Crucible is good. Crown Arbor. Okay. Hello Fountain. Very yep. good. If I don't block here, I take one, two, three, four, five. Well, actually, wait, wait, okay. So steal over here first. Each creature, artifact creature, one, two, plus Arcbound Ravager, three on its own, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can take up to nine here. Um, 
but that straps you on resources by quite a bit. So yeah, I'll take it. How much you want to hit me for? Steal over seed? Okay. Oh, okay. Three. All right. I will take three. You got it. At the end of turn, I will... There's not really anything left for me to tap down with Rafik. Because obviously if I try to tap the Steel Overseer, you just tap, you know, in response. Um... I guess there's no point in not, right? Since I already have it. I'm going to use Rafik and tap down, I guess, your Jitae, because why not? Alright. Well, take one. It's okay, I still have a Captain Sisse on duty. I get here? Let's actually answer that question. Okay. Oh, Lord. Let's see, you're at six? Yeah, no, that's right. Vincer swings, it's double strike, three, three, but it makes it six damage. Yeah, you're right. That's not a nine, Jay. <laughs> that's not a nine. Uh, the play was about to be to... Hmm. I guess get a I guess get a Jace Rings Prodigy and then cast it this turn so I can try to loot through to get past a strip mine lock. But yeah, there we go. That's it. Alright. Boink. You're good, my friend. <laughs> I trust you. As lucky as you've been with the die rolls, you've been unlucky with the actual cards themselves. Or not super lucky. So I'm gonna I mean, I, I take it you're on the play, of course. Uh, yeah, we'll risk it. We're gonna try it. Mm -hmm. While he's debating that, let me show you what's going on. So, this means we at least have something. No matter what, we have something. And hopefully we get to you, and you, and you, and you. But th this is why it's so keepable. You two, along with this. Opposition. S Sylvan Gorge. Oh, okay. Pithy Needle Name Opposition. Yeah, that's fair. Um, hmm. Whale. Well, we're going to Flooded Spr Strand, Breeding Pool. So I'm going to go to 17 here. Green Sun Zenith. Get Dryad Arbor and shuffle it back in. So I'm gonna do all of that in one swift motion if that's okay. Let's see. And then here's the green sun zenith. And then shuffle it back in. And it's the best turn. Good old green sun zenith. Zenith. I've always heard it Zenith, except mm. I think one time I've heard Zenith. Alright, anyway. Boink. Ooh, <laughs> I dropped that and Isabel jumped a little bit. You Hanger on one. Hanger back on one. Okay, mops up a long line. Uh -huh. Okay. Whale now. Jace, VP, mm -hmm. Vice President, Pastor. Mm. Oh, is that a dust bowl? Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Crucible, okay. Well, geez. Go ahead. Better not let you get up to that much mana then. Or I am screwed. It's a very technical magic term. Screwed. 
All right. Well then. Uh, I guess we'll start with a Jace activation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not even gonna bother. That's the card I top decked. <laughs> uh huh. I will pass turn. You have to turn. Yep. Oh, rainbow die. Nice. Oh. Okay. Flip. There we go. Make no sure. Crit. Okay. Let the coin tossing begin. Three. You can't tech edge me, bro. I'm not tech edging you. Okay, you're doing dust bowl. I'm dust bowling you. Just clarify. Okay, yeah. so you're hitting the breeding pool. Yeah. Alright, and just to make sure that's three and tap. One, two, three, and tap it. Alright, fair enough. There we go. Virtual world. Play again. Yep. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> what room? Rut row raggy. Okay, Jay. Think. Think what's going to get you out of this. A little fetch. Mm -hmm. Got a 16. Get a temple garden. Something cool with Jace. I mean, that's not, unfortunately. Hmm, actually, that's okay. No, we're not gonna get there. We are not going to get there. Okay, I guess we're we're on that game plan. Mm -hmm. uh, transform Jace. Yep. Telepath Unbound is found. All right, cool. So we're gonna go one two. Gta. Mm -hmm. Fetch. Well, get the butter planes, because tell me that doesn't look like butter. <laughs> it, it totally does. Um, boink. Jace is going to plus targeting hanger back walker. Minus that do? Minus two, minus oh, till the book, my next turn. Uh, Spin two, equip the GTA, mm -hmm. and fire. It's just a plus. It's just a one one. It's a one one. Yes. Block before damage. Yep. Okay. So trigger. Uh, this one will live. Uh, this one will die. GTA gets two counters on it. Um, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. The only trick here is that if I do it now, if I don't do it now, I'm in trouble regardless. I'm sorry, it's on two. Sorry. Ow. I'm just 
I'm just dumb for a sec. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty well messed up either way, unfortunately. This is one damage marked. If I spin two, I kill it, and then he gets more Thopters, and he can equip the GTA to the Thopters. If I don't do it that way... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna use the counters. Alright, three Thopters. I'm throwing... And... This is gonna hurt in the meantime, though. Pass turn. Jace is on six. Ah, right, he's safe. So the convention we use is that odds, he takes three, evens, he's safe. Now there was a time when my Umazawa's Jitte being cast would just deal with your Jitte, and we would just both d lose it. I don't know target creature is not going to have it. Yes, that's correct. Just something to not die. Please enjoy the dulcet tones of kittens in the background. Being adorable. Yeah. Sleeping on top of each other. Yeah. Alright, I'm ready. Make it colorless. Yes. Three. Yes. To sacrifice. Alright, off the dust bowl. Yes. Takes out the temple garden. Uh, replay it with crucible worlds. Yep. Tap for a second one. Yep. Quit. Alright. Um. All three at Jace. Alright, Jace takes three. Um, spin both counters, take out your dry dogger and your elf. Yep. Unfortunately, you played that correctly, so that's game. <laughs> you did what you could. I, I did what I could. You got it. You got there. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'd like to be on the play. Yep. You and I, probably not tonight, but at some point later on, are going to try to jam some Diablo 3. Uh, I, you, you mentioned also having, I guess it was Call of Duty, but I am pretty bad at FPSs that use modern controls just because I don't have practice with them. Uh, my newest console is a Wii. Now I have a PC, but, you know, mouse and keyboard are not the same. So I am pretty bad at FPS's. Uh, the newest FPS that I've played somewhat consistently was Metroid Prime, for mm. reference sake. Mm -hmm. Metroid Prime 2. Um, I'll keep this. Well, no, I, I take it back. It, it's Portal 2, but that's not... Well, yeah, whatever. Actually, it's Mirror's Edge, but do those count? Those are one on PC, two, they don't feel like the same kind of FPS? Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping. Uh, we're going to start off with... Tell me if this sounds familiar. Um, Temple Garden into Greenson Zenith into Dryad Arbor, past turn. Okay. Lip Blip. I'm sorry, here. <laughs> Alright, do it. Just Ancient Tomb. Oh, you're gonna... Oh, okay. Hey, you're just doing your job. 
Silver ring. Okay. Chalice on one. Uh, chalice on one is good. Point. Wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jay, Jay, you done goofed. Now you done goofed. I goofed out with the little option. Ah, oh, dear. Uh, I was supposed to have played a separate card before the chalice. You want to take it back? It's fine. Sure. Okay. We'll, we'll just we'll receive it. Tap that for a skull clamp, then tap oh, the chalice okay. somewhere. Oh, there we go. This is a friendly match. This is casual. <laughs> we're, we're, we do take backsies. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you, after all. Yeah. Alright, cool. Go ahead. I have well, two cards in hand. <laughs> I'm very glad that Ornithopter has two toughness, at least. Oh, let's draw one card, Jay. One card. Or as Evangeline will say, two new ones. Because she's cute like that. Uh, we are going to... Cast an Umazawa's Jite and pass the turn. Mm -hmm. Skull clamp. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm Steel Overseer. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's fair. Dead Joe. Can you get one? I'll take one. Go ahead. Whenever it. There we go. <laughs> That's awkward. Pass turn. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing, just uh, an awkward realization. Okay, okay, the Air Force is here. Alright, all of the dice. All of the rainbows. Swing two. Take two. Go ahead. Reading pool tap, pass turn. Just your scout. Ooh, we're, we're bringing in the <laughs> anti sideboard tech. Okay. Oh, wow. No, Jester's Cap is fine. I, I don't know that I was expecting it, but this is a combo deck after all, so that's fine. Uh, two. Whatever you do, don't take out my one drops. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do such a thing? I may or may not have kept a hand with uh, Green Sun Zenith and Finhorn Elves oh. and cast the Green Sun Zenith first. <laughs> so, five damage. Yes. Go ahead. Hey, there we are. Alright, yeah, today in things that don't really matter, Wall of Blossoms, draw a card. Hey, that's a thing, I guess. So it's not, actually. Uh, I will pass the turn. Robbie said he's pretty much done here, so I'll text him here in a little bit. Right. This is what he means. Fair enough. Let him out early, maybe? That's cool. I mean, obviously, we're about done. <laughs> obviously. Uh. I just took you out. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs are uh, at, the, at the door. Sorry, Same bro. Dogs. I'm going to cap your library. Oh, yep, here we go. Um, you know what, I might as well, well it's fine. Here, you can look through it. Take a nice long look. He gets to pull, pick out three cards, Four, I believe, three, and yeah. exile them. 
Uh, if you were going for the combo, mm -hmm. one of them would be Paradox Engine, and then maybe Ulamog and something else, but I'm obviously not comboing you here. That's uh, that's not a thing, so in that case, you want to take my outs away. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Any outs that you see to this board. Unfortunately, I don't have any Wrath of Gods in there. Yep. And it does say three cards. No restriction on what those cards may be. Walls cannot attack. Oh, so you took that one card out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he's talking about one of these, and it's not this one because this one's redundant. So he's talking about one of these that I took out. Presumably, because this one costs six mana, he's talking about this. Mm. Captain Sisse. Okay. Two. Ooh. There is a right answer for the last one. I'm looking at three of the possibles right now. Mm. No take backsies. What? <laughs> Nothing. I said no take backsies. Well, it's just I'm looking at four, and I gotta pick one. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, mm. while you're making the decision, I won't tell you what mine would have been. But okay, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Fair enough. All right. So yeah, there was one Jace uh, that I cited out, and then here's a Jace as well. If it were me. For one thing, I made a mistake, because the optimal play for you is probably if you look through your deck and see that I only have three green sources left, or blue sources left. I have another breeding pool, I have a hallowed fountain, and I have an island. And you've seen outs like Vincer, Opposition, Chase the Mind Sculptor, which are double blue. Mm -hmm. So if I were smart, and I had realized you could have realized this, I should have fetched in response and gotten one of them so that I have a top deck potentially for a fourth land and then opposition in hand, mm -hmm. although opposition only saves me from one creature. Um, yeah. On the other hand, getting rid of these is, is fair enough, but it actually would have been better to hit the blue. All right, so and, and you're uh, attacking me yeah. at some point here. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'll take seven. All right, so I have to fetch now, put me to two, because if I don't, I could take three next turn if I want to get it untapped. So I don't really have a choice there. We'll go for the diverse lot of uh, Breeding Pool, Temple Garden, Hallowed Fountain. Mm -hmm. That way if you Dust Bowl me, I'll still have one of a given color, mm -hmm. at least one. Mm -hmm. You're good. But opposition very much does not save me right now, unfortunately. Neither do you, but okay. Um, Wall of Blossoms. Yeah. Draw. Um, you actually, I had swords, but you stranded it in my hand with Chalice. Uh, opposition, there's Captain Sisse. Top deck was Ulamog. 
which is a combo card. That's not exactly what we're looking for here, though. Uh, I swear, the next time I build this deck, I'm going to make it straight green-white. See what happens when I take out the blue. Dust Bowl again. Ooh. Ooh. For when we want to get that whole <laughs> shtick started. Okay, so, sideboard cards. I kept in Opposition, but Opposition is actually just a one of in the deck. Uh, so, th that actually didn't do much good against me. I slided in three and out three, of course. Let's see, I had Mimnark. If I could get up to enough mana to start rolling you with Mimnark, that would have been fun. And then two copies of Engineered Explosives, which is one of the advantages of running a three-color deck. I get to run EE. Although I'm considering going up to more copies, because that is just such a good card. Um, you know, put four in the sideboard, perhaps. Maybe even one in the main board, to be honest. Um, just, it does work in a three-color deck. Uh, that could potentially splash for a fourth color. I've debated adding black. Now, for cards I cited out, a Lightning Greaves, uh, which turns on Captain Sissé for a turn, which helps me to speed up and protect Sissé, but you are not doing a lot of targeted removal. It, GTA, that's it. Uh, one Mind Sculptor. I still have one I can tutor out with Sissé if I need. As powerful as Jace is, I still have an effect of five copies in the deck. And then one Sun Quan Lord of Wu. I'm not getting to six mana against you, and it doesn't matter if my creatures have horsemanship. You tend not to have that many creatures anyway. This is for breaking, like, go-wide strategies, including mid-range strategies. Uh, and that is, again, one of the advantages of blue, but I'm going to try it straight green-white next time. Okay, so obviously Chalice comes in. <laughs> Jester's Cap, sort of body and mind, that's fair, two of my colors. Three Pithing Needle. So, did Sphere come out? Three Spheres came out and two Sword of Fire Nice and... Uh, let's see, what was the sixth card that came out? Was it four Spheres? No, it was four spheres. Let's see. So... Two Sword of Fire and Ice, which admittedly might be the most powerful, but I don't know, against me, maybe not. Yeah, Body Mind definitely gets you by quite a lot, though it doesn't stop Swords to Plow Shares. But it does stop Tutoring Vincer, which is one thing I'll miss in the, in the green white list as well. Man, a lot of the blue I want is double blue. Jace, Opposition, Sun Quan, Vincer. That double blue hurts. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm counting six cards, but five yeah, over here. I, I, I think I may have played with it. Ah, it's no, a it's okay. 61 card deck. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It happens. He doesn't sort of pull out the other spear. Spear seem to be hurting me more than you. In this matchup, um, it's much better on the play than on the draw. But even so... If you knew that the combo was coming, Sphere basically forces me to play it fair, but yeah, it hurts you too, admittedly. Alright, there's that.